Raina here. Today I'm going to show you how to make video presentations that your audience will love. I'll start with a quick rundown on the essentials as to what makes a great presentation and then I'll run through a step-by-step -step instruction on how to make that video presentation. Here we go. We've all been there. You're busy, your to-do list is a mile long and then you remember you've got a presentation due tomorrow. Great. Try telling me that that's never happened to you and I probably won't believe you because we have all been there. Let's solve that problem now. I'm going to show you how to make a slick presentation really easily by taking your report, your data, whatever information it is that you're working from, and I'll show you how to turn that into a great presentation. Let me start by sharing a couple of quick tips for you to get started with that presentation. The first tip I have for you is to keep it short and punchy because presentations have a reputation of being long and boring. You don't want that, we don't want that, so go hard on editing down your video to what's really essential and what really needs to be there. The second tip I have for you is to keep it clear and simple. So don't use jargon, don't use really long words, Keep it simple, bring it back to editing again, work out what information it is that your audience will actually find useful and interesting, and then cut the rest. The third tip I have for you is to format your text. Experiment with different fonts and different sizes, make sure that your message is really being heard, and that can be done through great design. The last tip that I have for you is to pick content that resonates. This might seem like a no-brainer, but before you start, have a think about who your audience is and what they're expecting from your presentation. Don't serve up too much fun, for example, if it's not what your executives like and you're presenting to your executives. And on the other hand, don't get all serious if your audience is. Let's jump into making this presentation together. You'll probably need about 15 minutes to an hour to get this done. In my example today, I'm going to turn Facebook's 2019 results into a video presentation. So I've got my report data here. I just Googled Facebook Q4 results. And I went with Facebook's own press release on their website. So this is all public information. And what you'll see is that this is a lot of text, a lot of numbers, a lot of data. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna animate this information and I'm gonna make something that's really easy to engage with. So I'll go over to Biteable and I have that up here, just biteable.com. If I don't have an account, I can sign up for free. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Then I'll navigate to Biteable Pro and that's our advanced video editor and it will give me full customizability of the tool. Now, if you're in a rush, you can also use Biteable Lite up here. If you're in a rush or you want a bit more guidance, I do recommend using Biteable Lite. But for today, I'm going to use Biteable Pro and I'm going to go over here to presentation. That's a filter we have here so we can see what we have available in terms of templates we can use. I'm going to use this video template here today. It's quite corporate, it's quite professional, and that is what I want for the high level report that I'm going to be presenting on. It's got key results. I want it ready for my meeting tomorrow. As we mentioned, so I'll just go customize here to get started. We want to start with the context, start with why we're here, what it is that I'm presenting today. But I'm going to leave this first slide exactly as it is. No changes needed because it is a company update. And then I'm going to go to my second slide by clicking on the timeline at the bottom here. And to edit the text, all I need to do is double click on it. So I'm presenting on Q4 2019 results. I'm going to start by editing this next bit of text. It's going to be a bit longer than what's in the template. So I've just moved that line element down a little bit. And I will write in the overview that will set the tone for the rest of the video presentation. I'm actually going to use a Zuckerberg quote from the written report over here and you can do the equivalent for what your presentation is about. Here's the text there that I'm going to copy from and he says we've had a strong end to the year as our community and business has continued to grow. You can see that we need to format that text a bit so I'm just going to drag out that edge so it just covers two lines instead of several. What I can do is find the middle of the presentation by looking for that line down the middle of the slide, that's snapping it to the grid there. All right, that slide's done, easy as that. So I'm gonna go and move on to my next slide. Uh, again, I have a little bit more information than what's in the template, so I'm gonna pull that text window out so I have a little bit more space. I'll pull this down for a minute so I can edit up the top here. What I have now is some data that I want to communicate in this slide. I'm gonna get into the results here. I'm gonna talk about Facebook's daily active user count. And I've got that here, Facebook's daily active users, 1.66 billion. I'm gonna type up here, daily active 
user account was. Pull this along again, and I'll bring up this text element, which is my main text element. It's got my data in it, and I've typed 1.66 billion. Awesome. And now, I'll pull this up so I can reach this bottom text element. And now I'll type in here, that's an increase of 9% year over year. And I'm gonna leave that exactly as it is. Again, I'll pull this down so all my text is really clearly visible on the screen. Now, earlier we talked about how font sizes, font text that we use can make a difference to how our message is heard. So you can see here on this template that I've got my main piece of data in the biggest font, big and bold font, and it will give me the opportunity to talk over it a little bit and while still giving my audience some time to read what's on the screen. But I actually want this slide to be a little bit long. I'm gonna pull out the length of that scene here at the bottom. So you can see this ticker here, that represents how many seconds that scene will be available for. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the scene that I edited just now. I'm gonna pull that out, because that's a, a fairly long quote for a video presentation, and I wanna give people some time to read it. As I said, I'm gonna be giving this presentation in person in this example. Um, and I'll, I might be speaking over the top of it as well, so we want enough time for me to do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next slide and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep editing the text exactly as I did in the previous slide. Now I'm going to talk about Facebook's headcount. I have that data here. It's an increase of 26% in Q4 for them. I'm gonna type up here. Again, I just double click the text and I'm gonna type in our headcount is up by, and then again, Double click that text and I'll write in 26%. And then add a little bit of final context in that last text box there. We now have 44,942 people working with us. Perfect. Now bear with me while I keep on doing what I've been doing before and just typing in my data directly into this report. All right, so now I've done that. What I've realized is that my template has actually ended before I've communicated all the data that I want. But that's easily fixed. All I need to do is hover over at one of my previous slides, click these three dots here and duplicate that scene. And that'll add in this extra slide at the end. It's already formatted with the text that I'm using in the, in the rest of my presentation. And all I need to do now is go ahead and edit it exactly as I have been already. So I've written in my text, but what you can see is that because I've duplicated the previous slide, it's actually got the same background as, as the previous scene. And I don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and click replace background. My text was talking about a new milestone for the company. So I'm going to type in something like mountain, mountain top, something that represents the achievement that my business has had. The rest of my, my presentation, there's a lot of, um, a, a lot of white, a lot of blank spaces. So I sort of want to keep keep that up. So I'm going to perhaps use, how about we use the scene here. We can actually see that the image is overlaying on my text, which is not what we want. To I can actually move the um, image on the canvas, as you can see here, or I can move my text um, just by clicking on it and dragging it. But I've realized that I've actually added in an image. What I want to do is add in a video background to, to top this off. So I'm going to give it a go and see what we come up with when I do that. Here we have mountaintop video backgrounds that I can use on my scene. And when I hover over each scene, I get to see a little preview of it. Um, let me see something that will work well. How about this one here? I'll click on that and we'll see what that looks like on the canvas. I have a choice from over 800,000 premium clips. I'm confident that you will find what it is that you're looking for. Again, the background is quite light on this video background and that fits in well with the design and the look of the whole video. Again, I mean, this, this is overlaying text that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna drag everything right across. Easily done, great. Pull that across so it's all sort of aligned a little bit. Done. Of course, you can keep editing if you want. I'm gonna edit this last scene here, which says nice work team, which is great.
that looks great, doesn't it? So I can go ahead and edit more, as I said before, or I can leave it as it is. I do recommend leaving it as it is, as much as possible, because these templates have been designed by our motion designers, our marketers, um, a whole team of professionals here already. So your video is all ready now. You can share it in an email, on social media, or at that big meeting tomorrow. So good luck, guys. You've got this. If you have any more questions on how to make a video presentation, please hit us up. We'd love to hear from you.